Yeah, Keats, I feel like I'm in timeout to a certain extent, which I probably should get used to, but this is where the bat and ball boys sit in case a foul ball is hit right behind home plate or an umpire has to discard a baseball. But before those baseballs are put in play, before there's a pitch, before there's a hit, before one is fielded, they are carefully prepared by the Tigers' assistant clubhouse manager, Mark Cave. One of his many responsibilities is to take the balls and make sure that they look and feel right. And it starts by rubbing them in mud. Well, it's a combination of uh, the mud. <laughs> uh, I guess this mud's been used for years. Um, I just, myself, I put a little bit on my hand. Okay. A little bit of water, just kind of evenly distribute it throughout my hand. And, and I just cover the ball with it like this right here. And, <laughs> Uh, uh, all of us in the clubhouse, sir, we, we all do this, and everybody has their own little way of doing it, but, um, I mean, this works good for me. I don't like to use gloves. I just like to get my hands dirty. I can feel it, and I can, I can feel it all drying because the moisture goes away the more you rub it, and that's kind of what you want. And then when you're done, it kind of just gives it a little color. And what's that one, that what's the purpose good. of it? Why do, does a baseball need to be rubbed in mud? Because we've always done it. I don't know. Uh, it gives, I guess it gives the player a little more grip. Um, if you don't do this, the ball is kind of slick. And then uh, the pitcher loses a little bit of control. Mm -hmm. So this gives him a little bit of a little bit of texture, a little bit of something to hold on to, I guess. Cave and his crew will prepare well over six cases of balls in about 45 minutes and get the pitcher's input on color and texture. You know, how, how do you know if too, when it's, there's too much or there's not enough on it? Uh, not enough, it'll be light, it'll be too light, you know, it, it, it won't be that light, but too dark, it'll be, I don't know, but, I mean, this, perfectly, this is a good one, that's a good one. That's how you feel it, huh? Yeah. You don't get any baseball players saying to you, this needs to be a little bit darker before oh, yeah. I take them out. Oh, they, yeah. So they some will. Some guys like it, but okay. yeah, I mean, we try to make them all somewhat the same. I mean, so, some come out a little lighter no matter what. Some of them come out a little darker. Um, I mean, yeah, what, whatever our guys use and the other guys mm -hmm. using too. There is a science to it, though, and it's not as easy as it may seem. You get a little little dab, right? Yeah, right? just kind of rub it. Kind of rub it a little bit there. Yeah. And and a little, little, and a little, little water, water, a little you water. Get kind of. Yeah, you know, you, you, get you, you actually do. You got to really <laughs> dig in there. That's true. Yeah. Okay, so you're there. Okay. Right there. A little more water. A little okay, more water. There okay. you go. You're looking good. And then you, you, you just kind of, you just kind of fill it a little bit. Just kind of put the ball flat. And, and then, and then you kind of. Yeah. Well, he's did this before. I don't know. Yeah, this guy, it doesn't. Good. It doesn't look as <laughs> clean as yours. Look. That's kind of dark. That's dark, isn't it? Yeah. Let me show you how we fix that one. Yeah. How do you fix it? It's it's got a lot on there, like. Well, you had the stuff on your hand, so right. I, I would normally, if I had too much on my hand, I'd wipe it like that. Okay. Um, actually, it's not too bad. You keep rubbing it. It's, it's a, nice a little, little bit of a science to it, don't you yeah. think? But, of course, only the best of the best are then honored to be chosen for game day. That is quite an honor that my ball gets thrown in as part of the game ball. Part of the game ball, huh? Right. That's pretty sweet. There we go. In addition to their responsibility, Cave and his crew also work with three closets full of bats. This isn't even the batting stock that they have in the dugout. All right, this is way back in their clubhouse area. From fungos to trainer bats that players use for work on one-handed swings, they have shelves and shelves of spikes and uniforms and protective garment. It's an amazing room, Keats. I've been covering this team for a long time. I've walked by it. But not until I went knee deep, I mean way back into the, the gully of it, did I truly appreciate all the things they've got going on back there and the numerous amount of apparel, bats, and spikes that they have to go through. The little bit of reading I did about your mud today is that it's likened to the consistency of chocolate pudding. Would that be fair? I didn't taste it. Uh, I was pretty hungry <laughs> the at the time. consistency we're talking about. But, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I guess. It's a little gravelly like that if I made the pudding probably if Linda or Lisa made the pudding probably not it would be much smoother than that how's right. that all right there's Matt Shepard he'll be all over the ballpark tonight yeah we're told the mud comes from the Lena Blackburn original baseball rubbing spot a secret spot in South New Jersey off the Delaware River and it has made its way to the baseballs you'll see used here at the ballpark tonight